Good evening to you. Welcome to South East Today with Beverly Thompson and me, Jeff Clark. Officers policing the climate camp near the King's North Power Station in Kent have been granted extended powers to stop and search anyone across the Hoo Peninsula as a war of words grows among protesters, residents and the police. Campaigners who are against plans to build a new coal-fired plant today widen their demonstrations to other sites across the southeast. In a moment, Mark Norman will report on how protesters from the camp chained themselves to a biofuel depot. But first, Simon Jones joins us live from the camp. Uh, Simon, how have the police justified these uh, extension of the stop and search powers? Well, they say these are extraordinary measures for extraordinary times. Now, everyone arriving on the camp is being searched, but from now on, anyone on the whole Hu Peninsula, be they protesters, residents, or simply visitors, can be stopped and searched, and the police do not have to have grounds to do that. They say it's because they're finding too many people carrying things that could be used as weapons, but some of the protesters have told us it's the police who really should be taking a look at their own conduct. What's happening here at the camp gates can now take place anywhere in the area to anyone who refuse and you're committing an offence. This is the third time I've been searched uh, since, well, in the last hour and a half maybe. Um, uh, none of the other searches have found anything. Local resident Tara Riley says she felt the full force of the law when she was stopped yesterday whilst out jogging. To be honest, the sort of questioning was very abrupt, very aggressive. What are you doing? Which I explained, I'm out jogging. Why? This was the thing. Why are you out jogging? Because I want some exercise. Um, why are you doing that? And I had to say, well, because I want to lose weight, which was a bit embarrassing, but it's true. And uh, then basically six or so surrounded me. Um, and just continued questioning, saying, oh, well, you know, you realise that you looked a bit suspicious. Well, the, the actual camp is in that direction. We've had police uh, coming down the, in between these rows of pear trees. Alan Tristram says he was stopped by police three times going down his own road. And then he said, have you got any identification? I said, uh, no, I haven't. I said, and if I did have, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't show it to you, because why should I? Making their views known publicly for the first time today, the farmers whose fields the protesters have occupied. They know they've got a valid cause to protest, but um, we don't know if the police could have ushered them somewhere nearer the power station and had a, a sort of a legal occupation rather than um, you know, causing us some distress. It's been a week of tension on Monday. Protesters clashed with police inside the camp campaigners accusing officers of being heavy-handed. Then the police paraded a hall of weapons they said were uncovered near the camp and now new police powers. This really obviously goes above and beyond uh, attempting to stop people from breaking the law. This is about political policing. But from the police today, talk of necessity. This decision was taken primarily to protect and safeguard the residents of the Hu Peninsula to protect and safeguard the law-abiding overwhelming majority of the protesters and to protect and safeguard my officers. On Saturday, some in the camp say they'll leave the site and try to shut down the King's North Power Station. The battle lines are drawn. Well, the extension of the stop and search powers isn't the only new measure for police tonight. Everyone arriving at the camp tonight is being given one of these leaflets. It's a special direction banning anyone from the waterways around the King's North Power Station. The police also said today that yesterday they were approached by 30 people leaving the camp here who said they didn't want to be associated with the criminal element here. The police say the majority are law-abiding, but they're insisting some are intent on causing trouble. Interesting, Simon. Many thanks. Environmental protesters from the camp also staged protests at other sites across the southeast. At Gatwick Airport, they draped a banner in the terminal building while eight activists were arrested when they climbed onto a biofuel terminal in West Thurrock, as our environment correspondent Mark Norman now reports. Climate campaigners filmed fellow activists who had locked themselves together and blocked an agrofuels depot entrance near Dartford and then were removed by the police. They pulled us in both directions at once. We were locked on. 
they were just yank, they were just pulling it and they said if we wouldn't get away they were just gonna they were just gonna pull and there a lot of people were in a lot of pain they were shouting and completely brutal really at the same time campaigners had unfurled banners at Gatwick Airport at Crawley and at the Vopac depot, a number of protesters had entered the site, chaining themselves to a metal staircase. Specialist police officers are talking to the protesters who have chained themselves to the metal stairway that wraps itself around the oil silo. They've been up there for around two hours. At this point, it's not clear when they might come down. But while that discussion took place, protesters made their case against agricultural fuels. What does this industry is doing is significantly accelerating climate change. Uh, it is a major driver of deforestation. We know that green energy very heavily use palm oil, which is the main driver of Southeast Asia's uh, rainforest destruction at the moment, releasing vast sums of carbon. With that point made, attention turned to the demonstrators and the fact the police had cut them free and arrested all four. On Saturday, climate protesters have vowed to shut down King's North Power Station, objecting to E.ON's plans to build the UK's first new coal-fired power station for more than 20 years. Mark Norman, BBC Southeast Today, Thurrock. And officers policing the climate camp near the King's North Power Station in Kent have been granted extended powers to stop and search anyone across the Who Peninsula. So back now live to Simon Jones at the camp. Simon, any evidence there that protesters and indeed police are, are gearing up for the main event, which is, of course, on Saturday? Well, I think the fact that police have got these new powers tonight shows that they're taking the threat to King's North very seriously. This is the very latest night. As you can see, people arriving here being stopped by the police and searched. The power the police have now for the whole area. And over here on the other side, you can see some of the protesters by their gate into the camp. They're watching the police. The police are watching them. Both sides trying to guess the move from the other side. Of course, Saturday, the big day. Now, the plan is to attack King's North, not only from from the ground but also from the air and also via local waterways. Okay Simon, thank you.